Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm the Happy Rapper. Hi friends, it's Jamie from The Happy Flapper. Today I'm going to show you how to make veils, um, probably from about 1850 to the present. You know, the cute little veils with the chenille on them. Okay, let's get started. Here's the style I'm talking about. The nut veils. Some thicker, some wider. Just lovely. And as you can see, they come in a variety of styles. Okay, first to start out, I took like a piece of paper and I did like three inches by three inches dots. If you go every like three inches and then three, go three inches over, go three inches down, then if you cross them, you're going to find like the center point in the middle of these. Actually, everything kind of goes down. It won't be three inches diagonally. But you'll see, even if you like marked these, like from this section to this section, if you marked it and did a cross, it will give you the center where the dot should be. Okay, I also did it on here because you're gonna do some gluing. If you're doing it on white paper, I would recommend that you use parchment paper because the glue you don't want to stick even though it'll be a second just for a second yeah I cut little squares from a piece of velvet the round ones were harder so they're not exactly round I'll tell you why I did it because I know you can buy chenille to go on to the netting, especially the bigger netting, or you could buy it that way. But if you're doing it yourself, I really don't want to put wire by my face, especially by my eyes, because chenille, they're like pipe cleaners, have a little wire around them, and I don't want anything scratchy by my eye. Um, I already started this one, see how it lines up? You can either mark with like a black magic marker to the dots so you can put where you want and then just glue it on whatever paper but I actually did put some marks which let me see if you can see oh it went right through oh dear anyways there are some marks on here if you can see that probably not just a couple marks and then start gluing circles or you could even cut squares and make them straight up squares or like diamonds if you want. This one I did like diamonds and I spaced them out further instead of every single one I spaced it out every other one. And it's it's really just simple. You Once you have it lined up, just Take a dab, just a, a drop of glue. I used Elmer's glue. Oops, that was way too much, but just a drop on the dot you made. And then take your velvet pre-cut dots, just stick them on there. Eh. As easy as that, right? And then I lift it off so it doesn't stick to the paper or whatever. Now here's another way of making them. If you buy the wide netting, 
this you can you can find on Etsy or I actually got this from England um, if you count it's easier to do this way instead of, you could line it up that way if you want but since these are spaced a certain way it's easier to count so I went down like to the third one and I that's where my first one would go if you wanted you could mark it but I counted five down and then five down so there's a five little of these little squares in between well actually four so one two three four five and then one two three four five on the sixth one I put it down so there's five in between And that's how the square ones come out. I did it also with the round ones. You can also, after you put the pattern on from here, little black dots, then sew pearls. How elegant. Isn't that elegant? Can you see it? I hope you can. I hope you can see it. Also, hey, if you want to get fancy, put little sparkles on it. And these I just glued on. The little pearls I sewed, I used what's called a milliner, milliner's needle for hat making because the needle is one length. Sometimes if you use not a small enough needle, it gets stuck because a regular needle is bigger at the head where you thread it. Milliner's needles are just one size, so it went through pretty easy. And I just sewed it through one knot and clipped it. You can also do the dots. on netting, like tool. And sew them on. Once you know where your dot is, just sew them on. Because some of the netting you purchase online is hand sewn. Sometimes it's a square that just goes back and forth. These are just like little, I call them little spiders. It's just a circle but back and forth back and forth but I had marked it previously with little black dots so I know where to sew it and here's how they look I probably should have attached them to a hat but you get the basic idea So easy, you can do it yourself. You can add them to any hat you make, whether it's historical or for the present. Thanks for watching.